Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tuner Questions and for Video Magical and today I want to have a look at Final Cut Pro because there were a few changes made in the update that came out yesterday, October 2012. So one of the first things I noticed was when I was importing stuff in, I press Command and I to import stuff and we get this dialog instead. Choose your files that you want to download in this. In some ways it's a little bit easier to work, so let's have a look and see what we've got. I can go to Favorites, Spondicious, which is the name of the computer, look in Movies, and I can find what I want there. So I'm looking for Spotlight Search Tips, which is the latest one that I did in ScreenFlow, and click on Import Selected, and off it goes. So add it to Existing Event, Mac Tips, and then you've got all your usual stuff there. That was the same as before. So let's click on Import. So that was uh, one thing that was new within this here. Another thing, another thing that was new was the fact that the share menu up here has gone. So I was thinking, what the bloody hell's that gone to? I had to look around for it. So eventually I found it in File, and there's the share menu there now. And in some ways, a little bit easier to work with. You've got some of those ones that were all set up already, so the DVD, Master File, YouTube, and these ones are already on there. This one HD uh, 720p, that was one that I added afterwards, and I did it by going to this Add Destination. So this thing comes up now, so we've got uh, Destinations, and you can choose from DVD, Blu-ray, email, and all this sort of stuff here. So if it's something that's going to go to YouTube, I could click on that there, and well, I don't have to actually, it's already in this list already, but... Um, I could go for compressor settings, so if I choose that one there, and then from compressor settings I can choose whatever I want out of this here. So this is the one I chose here, HD 720p, which is stuff for going to YouTube and Vimeo. And I could have one on here, so perhaps I want this one here. Let's click on OK. And now you see I've got the compressor settings there, HD 1080p, which is one of my destinations as well. For import. Okay, so this is some defaults, I suppose, for files that you're importing in there, but you get a choice of these sort of things when you bring them in anyway. So, oh well, it's, it's there anyway. And playback. And you've got a few things here. Everything's all gone dark and moody with this here, hasn't it? But um, it's okay. Now, one thing I did notice when it was time to actually get sharing out is I go to the file menu there, go to share and choose the one that I want. So I'm going to choose this one here to send it off to YouTube. We've got new this sort of setting here, so this is this is quite nice. With this runs through the actual video, the whole of it there. It's nice to give it one final check before you send it off. It puts some tags on there. I haven't actually tested to find out if those are open meta tags that can be searched for. Must give that a try sometime soon. And it gives you basic settings at the bottom here: 1280 by 30 frames per second, and all this sort of stuff. And it gives you an estimated video size, which is going to be wildly out. It's going to be a whole lot less than that. And we could look in settings as well. So from this one here, I could change it and use something else. Let's click on change. So there you go, I can change. So another chance to decide which settings that you actually want there. So I could use one of these custom settings for sending to YouTube that I made for myself. Let's click on cancel. And then when you click on next, before it used to go off onto a sharing program. In fact, let's uh, it has to title, give a title to it first. Okay, so I click on save, and it looks like nothing's happened before. A little application would pop up called Share thing or whatever it was called, and you'd see that it was being shared out, and you knew what was going on. There was some, but now instead it's in this here, so it goes into background tasks, and in background tasks we've got sharing, and it tells us there that it's processing transcoding new video dot mov. So uh, that's how that works now. Instead of having a big sort of application where it tells you that it's doing your transcoding, it just tells you in your background task. It brings it in-house. So there you go. And I imagine that there are a few other changes in there, but when I find them, I'll let you know about it. But for the moment, that's importing your stuff and exporting your stuff out through the share menu. It's changed and gone to the file menu, and, well, it's all dark and moody. This is Dave Allen 4. Mac 20 questions and for video magical. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.